So I wanted to take a few minutes to respond to a question that popped up in the members only channel uh, in the Meteor Chef Slack earlier this morning. And that question was, how do I ensure that a user's email address is valid before creating their account? And you may think, well, shouldn't that be done before we even go to create a user? The answer to that question is yes, but we can't always control when a user is trying to be created in our application. So I'm in Chrome right now, and I've got my console open, and you can see I've typed out accounts.createUser, and I've got some data that I'm going to pass here. Now, what you may not know about accounts.createUser is that no sanitization is happening behind the scenes, save for checking whether or not an email address um, or another option we can pass to this username already exists in the database. Beyond that, Meteor is doing no checking of whether or not this is a valid email address uh, or any of the information that we're typing in is valid at all. That's completely up to us. So here in this example, I'm just opening the console. So we'll assume that I'm an attacker or somebody who uh, doesn't have our best interests in mind. Uh, and notice when I hit enter, accounts.createUser functions perfectly fine. So this email address is clearly not valid. Um, and you'll notice in base, so we're using base, which is the boilerplate uh, that we use here at the Meteor Chef to spin up new projects and tutorials. And you'll notice that base is, is saying undefined, undefined. This is because we expect a, a profile with a first name and last name, which we didn't pass here. Um, but regardless, we were still able to create a new user, which is a little spooky because that means anybody could open up the console to our application and create a new user. And if we look, so I've got uh, Mongo Hub open here, which allows us to explore uh, MongoDB databases. If I hit run on this, you'll notice we have a new user. We jump into the email section here. So address is set as high there. No validation has occurred. So this is, this is a bit of a problem. And so there's, there's a few different ways that we can counteract this. The first and most important uh, is to always have some form of client-side validation in your application. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. I'll go back to the sign up screen here in base and you'll notice if I hit sign up it's going to tell me that I need all of this information so this is kind of your first wave of defense uh, in terms of attacks like this so if I say so we'll pop in my name and I'll say not, not password okay this will work so I'm going to make one little change here to say okay yeah. And you'll notice uh, base has validation built in for um, all of the forms that it includes. And so on the email address, you're getting um, both whether or not the value actually exists, uh, as well as uh, is it valid itself. So you'll see this is already validating the email saying, eh, is, this, is this legit? Um, so if we actually make it legit, it will be. And we can create our account. This is good. But this still doesn't respond to the problem that we've got down here in the console. I can still pop this open and we'll create another. So we'll say another. And now I've been logged in as that user. Hi there, another. And if I come back here, now we'll have three users. Uh, let's see. Do we get lucky? All right, so that's our first one. That's our real one. Okay, so this one will be our fake user. And there you go. So even though we have our, our form, which does the proper validation and ensures that we're using a real email address, we can still pop open the console and uh, basically get around this. So the question is, how do we make sure that doesn't happen? And the answer to that is that we need to add to the server a hook to accounts.onCreateUser. So this is a method that gets called whenever Meteor creates a new user, or rather whenever Meteor is about to create a new user. So to explain that, when we call accounts.createUser either on the client or the server, Meteor is going to call this hook onCreateUser and fire the function that it includes if it exists. So it's going to say, okay, onCreateUser, pass in the options that the user um, passed from the client or the server. So in this case, options contains the email and the password on the profile data. Uh, and user contains uh, things like the, the user ID that they've generated for the actual user account. Uh, as well as the created at timestamp and things like that. Um, but most importantly, we get access to the data that's going to be inserted into the database right before it happens. And so what I've done here is in the imports startup server 
accounts directory. And again, we're, we're using a copy of base, uh, the Meteor Chef's boilerplate. Uh, I've created on create user as a file. Uh, and I've also imported this. So remember, because we're in the imports directory, we need to make sure that this file is imported into the server startup. So you'll notice down here, I'm in import startup server index.js. So I've just imported on create user. So once our file is loaded, what I'm doing in here is uh, by default, just saying, okay, take in the new user. If there's a profile for that value, attach it to the new user and go ahead and return it. And so when we return a user object from this method, that's telling Meteor, okay, everything's fine. Go ahead and create the user. We don't care. So this is what we do not want. And what we can actually do is rely on a package called validator here. So I'm installing this via NPM. If we jump back over here, I've got it pulled up. So validator is just a package that includes some generic validation methods. So there's no framework here. There's no um, anything affecting the DOM or anything like that. It's, it's just one-off functions that we can call to validate um, values that we pass to it. So you can see there's quite a few different functions here uh, that we can validate against. But for us, we just want this, this early example here is email. So we're trying to validate whether or not the email we're being passed is valid. And so if we jump back in our code, I've already written this, so I'm going to uncomment it clean this up a little bit. And the thing that we can do to protect against this is check whether or not an email address is valid. So I've imported validator and we're taking in the new user and just to make sure we're avoiding uh, parameter assignment. So we don't, we, you want to avoid reassigning values to um, arguments passed to your functions. So here I'm just creating a new variable called new user and caching whatever the value of that user argument is uh, behind it. So new user is the value we're working with. And the first thing we're going to do is make a call to validator.isemail because we want to know is the email passed actually an email address. If it is, then we go ahead and create the user like we'd expect. So again, we check if there's a profile value. If there is, we go ahead and assign it to this new user object and then we return it and Meteor says, cool, I'll go ahead and create that user. Uh, if this fails, meaning if validator.isemail fails, we're just going to throw an error. So the reason this is working without uh, an else statement is uh, if we hit this return value first, meaning this is true, that will be the end of the function and we'll never touch the error message. Uh, and conversely, if this fails and none of this code ever runs, then we'll bump directly into this error here. So what I want to do is save this. And then we're going to jump back into the browser and back into base. Now we're going to log out of this. We'll give it a refresh. And now I'm going to pop this up and we're going to try to create a new user. So we'll just say bad email. And you'll see now with that validation in place, we're blocking the user creation from ever happening. So we get this error back. Please pass a valid email address. Um, so that's the answer to the question. If you are concerned about that or just want to add an extra layer of security to your application, that's the way to do it. Um, in your accounts.onCreateUserHook, hook, make sure to add some form of sanitization or validation to the values that are being passed to you before you create the user.